Hello everybody, this is Gene. I just, some of you may already know this. I think most of you probably do. It was on the news all over the place. But my mom and sister were in a car accident in near Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. They were in the mountains and they slid off the road. And uh, my mother passed. The reason I'm making this video is because the news media is getting it wrong. First of all, they said that my sister is mentally disabled. She's not. She's physically disabled. She's not mentally disabled. And also, they're saying, see, my mother didn't die in the crash. She died afterwards to the elements. They're saying that she left the van by herself to try and get help. That's not true. They left together. And it, it, this happened Wednesday afternoon around 2 o'clock when they got in the accident. And then they both decided to walk a little ways to see if they could get some help. Well, they got too far out. It started raining. It got dark. And they couldn't make it back to the van. And they couldn't get any cell service anywhere. So they were trying to make it back to the van the best that they could. But neither one of them could do it, especially not my mom. And my, my, my sister couldn't really carry her. She tried, but she couldn't. So they just sat down there all night, Wednesday night, in the rain. My sister sitting with her legs out in front of her and my mom in between her. In between her legs and my sister holding her. So they sat there all night, Wednesday night. Thursday morning... They woke up with what sleep I guess they did get. I don't know how you could sleep much. She said she didn't. And they decided they'd try again to get back to the van. Well, neither one of them had much strength, especially my mother. My mother couldn't, my sister couldn't get my mother up. She kept falling over. So my mother told my sister to go back to the van by herself, get some blankets, and come back. So that's what my sister did. But the van was far enough away that it took my sister a few hours, a couple hours, to get to the van and get back to my mom. Once she got back to my mom, my mom was still alive at this point. My sister got the blankets on her and everything and was trying to help her to get up. And every time that she would lift her to try and get her up, my mom would wave her arms and she couldn't talk. So I think she got so cold and hypothermia and maybe even had a stroke or something. I don't know for sure. I'll know more later. But she couldn't get my mother up. And about a half hour later, my mother just passed. So my sister then went back to the van and thought, well, I'll try and get out of here again to try and get somebody to come get my mom. And she couldn't. She couldn't get out. A hunter happened to find my mom laying there. She had already passed. But his dogs ran off down to the van because they found the van also. But the hunter didn't walk down to the van because it's too treacherous. So his dogs did though. And my sister said they were running around the van barking and howling and everything for two hours. So he had called authorities and it took like three or four hours for the police to even get there because they had to go up on ATVs and everything to get to her. So they first they found my mother, then they got down to my sister and my sister jumped out of the van and waved them down and they got to her, but they couldn't get her out of there for even longer after that. It was crazy. But my sister's home now. She's safe. She's doing as well as could be expected. But I just wanted to make this video because the news media has gotten it all wrong. They need to pull their head out. And stop posting stuff that's not true. My sister never would have left my mother. My sister would have died for her. Just like I would die for either one of them. But um, I believe my mom died to save my sister. And uh, the news media just needs to really get it right. That's all.